No figures were harmed uh, much during the making of this video. All right, guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the G Project 01 Soldier Weapon Kit. And this is basically a 112 scale uh, accessory pack uh, with weapons and effect pieces and stuff. And this was, I think, intended for use with the Nota Toys uh, Winter Soldier, the third party Winter Soldier. Uh, I don't own that figure, but I do own other 112 scale figures, of course, like Marvel Legends. So we're going to try these uh, effect pieces out on those, see if they're able to hold the weapons, and also if you can apply those effects to them. I do a lot of photography and stuff, so I think this kit would be worthwhile for me. Post a lot of those pictures on Instagram as well, so we'll see how it works out. So without further ado... Let's open up this package and see what we get inside. All right, so unfortunately, Customs already cut the tape on my box, I guess, because they saw the guns inside there. Maybe they thought I was uh, bringing in a weapon or something. But hopefully they didn't mess with anything inside here. First time I'm opening it on camera, so this will be kind of an insurance video as well. Nothing else inside here. So we got one of these stands, which is the same stand I normally get on AliExpress and stuff, but still cool to have. Always come in handy. Get uh, instructions, I guess, for the application of some of these. And there you can actually see the Winter Soldier figure I was speaking of. Oh, you have to place like magnets and stuff. Interesting. But we don't have that figure, unfortunately, so we will be winging it with our good friends Deadpool and Wolverine here. Seems to be... Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't know what this is. Maybe it's just extra sprue pieces. But I do see a piece of blue tack to stick stuff on. That's interesting. I do see two bullets that are meant to, like, I guess, plug into the guns. So you can. Let's see if I can zoom in on this. So you could plug it in and make it look like these are flying out of the. Uh, being ejected. Two of those. What else we got? Two smoke effects. And these seem to be hard plastic, unlike the rubbery ones that come with Marvel Legends. So two of those smoke effects. I do see multiple magnets here. And they're extremely strong. <laughs> I'm actually straining to pull these apart. Yeah, I probably have to get a nail inside there. God damn. All right. Now one, two, three, four, five magnets. And those came in a little baggy. The actual stuff itself seems to be on two separate trays first of all we'll be checking out all the ones that have all the gun bits and stuff in it so yeah I like that it's just uh, it's packaged in such a way that you can just put them right back in so we're gonna run through these and one by one and check them out on on these figures so first up in the kit you get uh, the winter soldier activation boxing <laughs> but although i don't have that figure i'll still be using this as a prop for other figures so you have it in the closed form 
and then they open the form. And although we don't have that Winter Soldier figure, Splinter can still make use of this book while having a nice cup of tea. So before we start getting into the effects, I should probably point out the attachment methods, or one of them I should say. These are the translucent clips, and these are actually super flexible, so the effect can plug into here, here, or here, and it can go around the body, around the waist, you know. So very useful. I tend to use these ones the most since I got this. I have some smaller ones which are meant to go around like wrists or ankles. With the peg on it. And then you also have ones with wrists or for wrists or ankles and it has magnets. So if you maybe have a Captain America shield or something, you can probably magnetize it with these and put it on his wrist, which is kind of cool. I haven't found any use for these with regard to attaching the effects, but yeah. So I got two of those, two of these, and two of the big ones. Other attachment methods that we talked about earlier was a piece of blue tack that they gave you, which you just pretty much I can just a gummy substance and you just uh, stick it on to the effect maybe and then you can stick it on to the figure. I tend to not like using that just in case the blue tack ruins the paint or anything but you know if you have a figure like this that just has red plastic it should be alright. Once you're not leaving it on too long, I suppose. And then they also gave you magnets, five different ones, but there are also magnets on that came with some of the effects, like this same one I was using here. It does have a magnet on it already. So if you can actually take the magnets out of these though, just stick them onto this and pull them out. Or you can put it back in and just run it to the side and this will stay in. And you can put them in or remove them from all of the effects basically. Alright, so first up on the effects you get two grenades. And those are actually magnetized on the bottom very tiny you get two large blast effects one came with a magnet in it and one doesn't have one but you can put one inside here or take this one out vice versa you get two smaller effects And the ones that do have the magnets in it can actually magnetize the grenades onto it. So if you wanted to make it look like these are impacting something or exploding, you can do that. And on the big one, well, you can also attach them using the clips that they provided. So those clips will just plug in here. So if you wanted to get it around the wrist or something, use that one or around the body you can use this one so you can't do certain effects like this juggernaut punching them straight in the gut or you can even set up something like this where Mega Man's blasting Deadpool don't worry guys they have healing factors so this kit does come with various uh, blast effects like uh, shooting effects and stuff with guns you get two sort of grenade launcher effects and these ones utilize a larger peg so you'll know what guns they can fit into do look really good they have two smaller ones for like the handguns and machine gun and stuff but these utilize a smaller peg 
They have these long ones that actually have like a bullet in them. Which is really cool. A bit warped, but I have to straighten that out with some hot water. And you also get two of those. And then lastly, you get these ones with like a spraying effect, mainly for like submachine guns and machine guns and stuff. And these are also utilizing the smaller peg, so these will fit in most of the guns. And it can even fit into Marvel Legends weapons as well. And so the set does come with seven different guns. Alright, so first gun up is the handgun. And this is done in sort of a satin black finish, all the guns are. And they are more or less made out of a hard plastic. They're not flexible like a Marvel Legend, so just be careful on parts like the trigger guard and the trigger things like that may possibly break the clip doesn't come out on this unfortunately should have been cool but the effect pieces do plug in like so that looks pretty cool this is how it looks in the hand of a marvel legend Looks pretty nice. A bit small, but I think that's more uh, realistic. So maybe this might fit in better with your G.I. Joes and stuff like that. Next up, there's the submachine gun. And this has a flip up stock like that. No removable magazine, unfortunately. It does have a magnet in it though, so you can stick it onto or magnetize it onto character's back or something. Unfortunately for this one, there is no um, hole in the barrel, so it can't utilize any of the blast effects that it came with, which kind of sucks. However, I did come up with a, <laughs> a method. I got this uh, Q-tip and I just cut the cut up a piece of the tube and sort of use a sharpie to sort of color it black. So now it does kind of make the barrel a little bit longer so you can actually get that blast effect inside. And it does fit nicely in his hand. Next up you get that weird weapon that he had, uh, Winter Soldier had in the movie where he shot some sort of grenade on the car, a disc shaped uh, grenade. So in this case you can actually check out the details on that. This stock doesn't pull back but this piece does slide off and then they give you the additional piece here which could actually slide on and then they give you the disc itself so you can just slip that right inside there and it just stays on there with the uh, friction and yeah pretty cool and your standard Marvel Legend is gonna be able to hold that as well it does come with a what is this assault rifle of some sort? M16, I guess. The nice thing about this one, they actually have like some sort of glossy paint in that uh, scope. So that gives it a little bit of life. This one actually does have the removable clip. Unfortunately, they did not paint the bullet, which kind of sucks. For the price of this set, they should definitely have painted that. Well, that clip will go back in there. This piece also comes out, the grenade launcher. So you can't just have it as a normal uh, M16. Now correct me if I'm, I'm wrong, not too 
versed with uh, guns. Next up, we have a grenade launcher. But definitely is some sort of assault rifle. As I mentioned before, some of the weapons could actually take the bullet that came in the baggie. So you would put it in this little slot right here. Just slot it in right there. And then you can have that effect like the bullets being ejected. Which will look probably a little bit better if we put a blast effect or something in it. Hang on. There you go. So you can see how cool that looks once you set it all up. The bullets being ejected. It would have been cooler if this bullet, if they had a few, not just one, but a few of the bullets being ejected. That will give it a little more realism. But nonetheless, still does look pretty cool. I think we could get that a little bit closer. Utilizing those butterfly joints. Yeah. Next up, we have a grenade launcher. And once again, they did put some sort of translucent or painted this uh, scope, which gives it a little realism. So that's pretty cool. And it does look pretty good. And this does rotate. And what you can do is pull this apart. It joins right here with a peg. So you pull this apart. And you can actually see all the shells in there, which can come out. Let me see if I can get one out. That's the shoe. Need something to fit down in there. Oops. There. There you go. And it does look almost look like real metal. Probably is. And it was just slot straight back inside there. Like so you put it back in there and then just plug the top piece back into And this utilizes the blast effect with the bigger attachment piece. So definitely simulate that grenade shot. Looks really cool. Next up we have a sniper rifle. And you can see once again they painted inside that scope. Each one has their own individual color. All these are just uh, matte black, so would have been cool to get some weathering on them, but hey, it still does look very nice. That satin's all black, and in this case, the magazine also does come out. Unfortunately, once again, did not paint the bullet. Looks like a job for me. And this sort of stock thing does unpeg from here. And then they give you an open one. So you can peg it in here. So you can get those cool sniping poses. So here we have the final gun which is some sort of heavy machine gun and it's in the same matte sort of plastic as the others but it's sculpted really nice and it does have a retractable stock and there's also an option to pull out this right here put the same stand that was on the sniper rifle I don't know why this is, but this side keeps coming off. 
sometimes. So, don't know if that's how it meant to be, or if it was just unsticking. But there you go. And there's also a loose magazine in the kit that you might be wondering what that's for. And that is for this gun. So you put it in the sort of angled slot. And that's how this one goes. And this one does utilize the uh, smaller peg system. But it does look really good and it does fit into the hand of the Marvel Legends pretty well. And possibly any other 112 scale. I can't wait to get a Punisher figure. I have the Warzone, Punisher Warzone and Bushwhacker um, 2 pack. And hope to get that one sometime soon. It's on pre order at Big Bad Toy Store. Now that we've taken a look at the guns, we're going into the blood effects. In addition to those guns, you also get a knife with a swiping effect. But the crappy part about this is that they didn't paint the handle. So, I think that's something that needs to be done. So these knife effects are a bit small for Marvel Legends. As you can see, they're not exactly fitting too great into the hand. But you can probably fudge it and make it work. Swiping across like that. And you do get two of those. I'll definitely try to paint those handles so they look a little bit better. You do get two spinning knife effects. Also not painted, but in this case, I guess you can stick it on a finger or something and make it look like he's spinning a knife, which is pretty cool. You do get two slashing blood effects and these actually have like a little groove so if you have a blade like our good friend Deadpool does could actually stick those on to the end of the blade and have those look like he's swiping thought that was really cool and as mentioned you do get two of those you do get two of these slashing effects who I can't imagine who else this will ever be for than Wolverine and these ones actually do come with the space in it that you could actually stick the magnet and put it on so it looks like you know he's getting a slash across the chest thought that was really nice as well definitely do some photos with that Two of those. You do get these, two of these, which are, I assume, going to be for something like this. Putting around the waist. It looks like you just got sliced through the waist there. Or even putting it over top of the shoulder like that. Probably not the best figure to try this out on. Let's try Wolverine instead. Yeah. Not exactly staying on the greatest, but probably more meant for this sort of thing. Oops. That does look really cool. As mentioned, you get two of those. You have two of these, which are, I assume, for putting around the hand or wrist or ankle. So you can actually make it look like maybe its hand is gone. So that's pretty cool as well. I 
think maybe if the figure's neck is small enough, you could probably actually put it around the neck as well and make it look like, you know, he got slashed across the neck or something. Doesn't seem to be fitting. The neck seems to be a little bit too thick. I guess something like that could work. And well, you do get two of those as mentioned. And then lastly, you get two of these and two of these. And these are meant to plug into this one. So you get that sort of 3D blood effect. Blood splatter effect, sorry. I think it's there. I think it's supposed to be like this. So then you can actually put your magnets or your glue tack or something and put it up against a figure like that. Does look like you just got shot, stabbed, something. That's really cool as well. That's where you get two of those pieces and two of the circular pieces. And I guess I could use these without those stuck inside there as well. Maybe even plug them into this. And put them over the shoulder or around the waist. It looks like you got shot in the gut. So Really, really cool stuff. Gonna do some photos at the end showing all of these. So, all in all, I think this is a really cool set. $35, and I got this from 5K Toys. Definitely, the amount of accessories you get in here is certainly worth the price, I think. And I will certainly get quite a lot of use of, from this for years to come, maybe. So... Hope this video was informative. Hope it helped anybody who was trying to figure out if they wanted to get this kit or not. And until next time, y'all take care.